Hello, everybody. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I just I just got out of a. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody. How's it going? I've been uh I've been in the med bay for a while here. Just a little little tired. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? No, I don't want that. Excellent. Sorry, I had to do a quick, <laughs> a quick recalibration on the thing. It's thought my eyes were closed again. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. We're at the Med Bay on Deep Rock Galactic. Turn on some music in the background so it's not just like. Here, hold on, I can get a little closer. Hello, hello. What happened? He lives! I was, uh... So there was an outbreak because a bunch of dwarves decided to, uh, keep tapping the containers on the space rig. And, um... Turns out one of them hit a container too hard. Uh, probably was drunk, if I'm entirely honest. And, uh... Yeah, Rockpox is not as nice to goblins as it is to, uh... Dwarves. <laughs> You're still waking up from the med pod. It is true. That's why. No, I'm still waking up from the med pod. There was a lot of um, a lot of stuff going on. They had to fix me up. Luckily, Dwarven technology is pretty good. It's pretty good. Don't. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I I am actually a little sleepy. Wait, <laughs> still getting into this, but um, don't know why it. Keeps thinking my one eye's closed all the time. I already tested all this and it was working fine. May oh, maybe it's just a turning head. It's probably just a turning head thing. But welcome, welcome. How's it going? How's it going, everybody? Oh yeah, it is. It's whenever I look over at chat. There we go. <laughs> You know what that means? It's time to get caffeinated. Exactly. I need to get my coffee. I have some coffee on my belt. Hold on. So, so it made sure I had a coffee mug with me. Uh, just in case. Just in case I needed a, a quick fix. Got my got my wrench here too, in case I need to fix anything up on the space rig. Uh, don't worry about that. They they couldn't they couldn't save my arm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh. There was a there was a lot going on with that rock box, okay? I, I don't recommend it. If you're a goblin, stay away. It's it's not good. It's not very good. <laughs> but um yes, yes. We uh I just woke up on the space rig. Uh apparently they've been doing tests on me for a little while. Uh and a lot of things have been fixed, quote unquote, that I wasn't really sure about. Um, I didn't know they were going to have to do this much to fix me up, but I'm glad I'm I'm back to work in order. You know, I can do stuff again. And with a robotic arm, heck, maybe I can blow more stuff up with less uh, less chance of injury. You know, <laughs> it'll be perfect. <laughs> Did you ever really work? <laughs> I think you're always broken. Wow. I see how it is. <laughs> I mean, someone has to supervise, right? And get paid more to supervise, and do very barely any of the actual groundwork on Hoxus. I think that I think that should be me. Oh, also, you gotta check this out. Hold on a second. This this little this little eye they gave me, it can open and close. Very great. It's very good for focusing on the bugs in the distance, and for like seeing which wire you need to cut when you're um when you're working with explosives <laughs> and also I've got this handy goggle that I can slide down in case I need to when uh when we're working on things don't want to get uh don't want to get any shrapnel in my one good eye <laughs> no it's really cool um so it did all the artwork for this it is very impressive. Very cool. Uh, and 
I got our uh, our friend Stella Luna to to rig it. Um, she also rigged um, also rigged Soot's model, so it was very very nice of her to do this one as well. I think we gave her a bit of an experience though, for sure, because uh, Cobalt and Goblin, the anatomy is not quite the same. Like my mouth, for sure. I, I have a big mouth. I won't deny it. And my and my ears with the little they wiggle a little bit. Hold on, let me slide down a little bit. Got a little bit of a wiggle to them. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm still looking good after all the uh, cybernetic upgrades I've had to have or or downgrade. I guess it depends what your what your views on cybernetics are. <laughs> I think it's an upgrade because it means I can handle more dangerous stuff. <laughs> but uh, yes, I figured I'd do this starting section with uh, just kind of a, a just chatting with everybody. If you guys want to know any any cool uh, tweak lore bits, I do a lot of the um, the lore for tweak in uh, my Deep Rock Galactic mod. So sometimes a bunch of it gets a. Uh, it's kind of missed, like if you missed a, a season of Tweak lore. <laughs> For the rigor. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, there, there she is, right there. Uh, although I think that's her previous oh model. Oh my god, I just had an idea. But uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, let me slide this my off again. Uh, wow, okay, we've got the, we've got the lewd hashtag for Stella. <laughs> of course we did. What a clip. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Out of all the clips we could have gotten. Yeah, so, uh, she's a literal planet. <laughs> she, she just has a, uh, human-like form. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I've been hanging around the space rig. Uh, oh yes. Hello, Kip Studios. How's it going? Hello. How are you? Oh, I didn't, I didn't show off the rest. So, sorry. I'm so excited about the little goggle expression. Um, I also have the ability to, um, to go anger. <laughs> I can be I could be angry frustrated I can also be the Sag <laughs> okay I gotta figure out why the eye thing is blinking a little bit too much <laughs> maybe it reset one of my settings um let's do a quick look see here I wonder why Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. I open no that's my right eye not my because uh, I'm looking at you guys it's 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 your your left my right um yeah for some reason it thinks my open eye <laughs> that's so funny okay There we go. That's a little bit better. Still blinking a little too much, but... Can I lick my... Wait, hold on a second. Lick my robotic eye. It would probably just taste like metal and glass, and why would you want to lick an eye? <laughs> Can you change color? Got tweaks workout. out. Another thing... That mouth might stay open when you're not speaking. Oh, yeah. It, I, I think that's just because my mouth is so big. Like, I think part of it is just, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it might need some more tweaking as well. <laughs> yeah. I just wish I could figure out what the eye thing. It's a little better. I put it so it's like the minimum's a little lower, but it's because I'm sleepy all the time. That's why I drink coffee so much. <laughs> Oh, hello, Gurulina. How are you going? 
Oh, I think I think it closes my eye when I'm smiling. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm smiling so much that it's doing like it's auto closing my eye. That's probably what's happening. <laughs> I never thought about that. That might be a thing. Yes. Yes, how's it going? Eyes no stay open cause sleepy. It's true. It's true. Yeah. I'll have to look into those more in between. Um But yeah, I guess I guess during testing I wasn't just like laughing the whole time. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, I uh I wanted to be a little uh I wanted to be a little more cybernetic. I wanted to uh, not not just not just be your your standard uh, run-of-the-mill gob, you know. Uh, I wanted to have a little bit of a uh, uniqueness. Oh yes, yes. Sorry. Let me slide up. Let me slide up. I, I've got a, I've got an arm here as well, and uh, obviously the coffee mug on my waist, and um, and the wrench there as well, just in case we need to fix some things. I still got one one gobbo hand though. Cyber Tweak 2077. Cyberpunk was a great game. I actually, that was one of the games I considered doing during the stream. Um, but uh, there was just so many other things that came up. I'm like, I want to do those as well, you know? Of the utility belt. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Drink has gorilla arms, yeah. I, I like the, um, because I have the, uh, you know, I have the feature of Fury of the Small. I actually like the Mantis levels myself. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this this cyber arm uh, is very hard to hold coffee with. That's the only that's the only stipulation I can I can say. I can do it. I've practiced because I need to hold my coffee. I can't just like not hold coffee, you know. But um, <laughs> hello, welcome, welcome. We're just we're just chatting and hanging out in the med bay at the moment. Actually, you know, now that I'm up, I, I could probably go go over to the uh, to the bar. Hold on a second. Let's... There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we're at the bar. <laughs> it's still Christmassy out here, so I wasn't out that long, I guess. <laughs> I guess I wasn't out too long. Ara ara, what's going on here? Oh, <laughs> I was like, I heard, uh, I heard Melvin, and I was, and I was just like, what? Okay. Not my dork, but tweak, tweak ara, ara ara. <laughs> there you go, I did it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Gotta have a. Uh... Oh no. Oh no, that's Lucky Myla and Spark. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Welcome. If you're just joining us, we're just hanging out at the bar. I just. Um, while we're hanging out, I'm gonna keep messing with my parameters. See if I can make it a little better. You never know. Saying, yep, finally, Carvalho. Now you have your finally. We now know that you're completely naughty. How dare you say you're innocent? Like, wow. I knew it. I knew it. You can't say you're innocent if you're not innocent. That's not how this works. <laughs> That's not how that works. You can't do it. I smile right. Okay, so there's a, there's an I smile right. That and so many bugs. <laughs> Okay, so if I set this to like 0.3. I knocked it down. <laughs> uh, two lives left. Now my eyes shouldn't close as much by just smiling, I don't think. Even though my eyes gonna look a little lazy anyway, because to be fair, that's just me. <laughs> I'm just a little uh I'm just a little lazy right now. <laughs> you turn that low? Well, uh I turned the lower part of it up, if that makes sense. The in, the in of it up. Wasn't opening enough at first, yeah. That was just for the smile, though, to detect the eye. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
Um, but yeah. It's just it's just that eye too. I don't really care about my my shutter eye. I can open and close all at once, like. Like uh oh, model's locked. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's kinda cool. I like how she how she set that up. <laughs> it was uh it was a fun time trying to make the shutter eye work properly. Yeah, it's it's really cool. That was uh that was definitely a uh a joint effort between between uh Soot and Stella getting the the art for that right and then getting the motion for that right. <laughs> I, it was hard to describe <laughs> going to, going to uh going to an artist and a rigger and being like um hey I want <laughs> I want the eye to be a shutter that also spins and it's like <laughs> I'm like I don't know how to I drew a little like sketch and stuff I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> you can force eye open wider all the time oh that, that's not a bad idea I believe it's my eye open, right? That's, uh... Can you eye laser? I don't know. I don't know if dwarves have eye laser technology. <laughs> if that's in my head, I don't know. I didn't know I had that. <laughs> um, maybe it's this one. Oh. Yeah, that's not too bad. Hey, that's a lot better. Okay, uh, let's actually set it to point three and point three. There we go. Now I really have to close my eye before it completely closes. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot better. Tweak lasering. You do the one point feet, scale it up. Uh, I, I did 0.3 at the bottom and 1.2 at the top, but I could put it higher. We're learning. Yeah, if I find out I have an eye laser, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> this is a vast difference in basic PNG. It, it's crazy. Honestly. Um, just the fact that you can do so much with uh, the basic motion. Like, I can put the head all the way around. Wiggle back and forth. Uh, the fact that my eye can actually track all the way around i'm on the uh i'm only on the level five right now i could set it to the to the nvidia one if you guys want to see it like a little more crisp but uh i wasn't sure going into all the different games how how well we would <laughs> do on that but i could test it out i was having some weird here hold on let me let me try it why not why not we're we're hanging out we're experimenting let's see what happens uh i'm i might go a little wonky for a second though if i do that <laughs> But hold on one second. Oop. Oh, I'm tracking quality. Broadcast. It hasn't found me yet. It doesn't know I'm here. Oh, it automatically does the breathing. Oh, that's pretty smooth. Maybe I'm not close enough to my camera. Maybe that's part of it, too. <laughs> I'm not used to having to... Hold on. Let's try adjusting some things. Make it look a little nicer. Oh, it also... Oh, that's, that's the problem. Hold on a second. There we go. I fixed it. It turned on that darn low-light compensation thing again. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot better. I think. Maybe not. It's closing my eye again. Maybe that's why I wasn't using NVIDIA. <laughs> Maybe it was too it was too specific with my eyeballs. Maybe that's it. It's very smooth though. It is animating very nice. I like it, but uh I'm definitely going to have to adjust for the NVIDIA one a little more than my other one. <laughs> like, uh, I open right. Yeah. Why is it so? Oh, did that fix anything? It's so hard to tell. 
<laughs> These numbers are very weird to me. I'm not used to Hypno Toad. Hypno Gob. Yeah, wow. If I open my eyes all the way, it thinks I'm only at like a 0.6 for opening my eyes. <laughs> I might have to lower the maxes, like, dramatically. Okay, so let's go... 0.6 for that. 0.6 for that. I just have... I just have very closed eyes. That's... That's what's going on here. Hey, that looks better. <laughs> it's just me. My eyes are just always closed. It's the way I am. Why why open your eyes? It's just effort. <laughs> I'm a very sleepy gob. <laughs> I could I think I could make them open a little more actually if I just lower lower the max to 0.5. There we go. That's a lot better. A lot smoother. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Abyss Bar, where I am your host and gobbo Tweak the Goblin. It's still Christmas here, so there's a lot of rum and eggnog going on. So if you want any of that, that's the time to do it. It's getting used it is. Yeah, I, I had a well, I had a week to get used to things, but um, not really. <laughs> It was a lot of, there's a lot of other stuff going on. I, I was demoing the whole Abyss bar by myself and uh, it's uh, it's going well, but it's a lot of work. Uh, it's still a little low. I think, wow. I think I actually need to lower these even slightly further. I just, <laughs> I just don't have uh, the big open eyes that soot does. <laughs> but it's looking a lot better now than it did. Uh, oh, maybe it's the eye smile. Right, I forgot we didn't fix the eye smile. Um, <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, there we go. We fixed a lot of it. I'm happy your mouth is singing. It. Yeah, the uh, that definitely just seems to be a thing between the tier five and the Nvidia. Like the Nvidia is a lot better at tracking that for sure. Excellent. Okay, we got it all. We got it all fixed up. I, I'd say that's pretty good. But welcome, welcome. Um, what was I talking about before? <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. We we went out to the Abyss Bar. I think I was gonna talk about lore stuff. If you guys wanted to learn some lore stuff, we've got uh, a lot of it in Deep Rock Galactic is how I share it. You don't have the PNGs who were mouth like I do. I'm surprised you can open all of the money. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. Uh, I, I actually wake up early in the morning uh, and I'm able to get up real easy, but only because I need to get up to make the coffee. So if I didn't, I didn't have the motivation of coffee, I wouldn't be able to wake up, you know? <laughs> but yes, sorry, Twiglore. Um, so a lot of it shared in Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, lots been going on. So first I, I got hired as an intern on uh, Space, Space Rig 23 uh, above Hoxus. <laughs> get our morning coffee. So, so it does get coffee too. And, um, honestly, it wasn't bad. I wasn't sure how working for dwarves was going to be, but they have a lot of guns and there was a lot of violence and explosions and, you know, I'm, I'm into all that. So, uh, it was a good time. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the, uh, the murdering and violence that comes with this job. Um, also the fact that I am safe in a mission control booth and I get to count all the minerals and money. And uh, the doors just send it up to me. <laughs> um, and uh, oh my gosh, there's so much to think about. Oh, uh, right. And uh, so after a little bit, I started doing more work as an intern there. Uh, I, I am getting paid. It's not just an experienced job. You know, I, the, the DRG has a lot of money, so they pay well. 
Uh, I don't know how much they pay their, like, in the mine workers, but I assume it's pretty good. Uh, I hope it's pretty good. Uh, they have a union and everything, and we didn't have that in the Goblin Mining Guild. I think it's much better, <laughs> Shelly Man. Cobalt approved. Thank you, thank you. Willing participants for new weapons? Yes. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the driller just, like, wanted to microwave a burrito, and then he's like, this would make a good gun. You know? Like, th there's some weird design philosophies in this. Like, I I'm, I'm a little worried of what they've stuck in my arm and eyeball. <laughs> but just I just hope it's not gnome tech. The eyes are being a little wonky again, isn't it? I don't know if it's where I'm sitting or the lighting, but there we go. Okay. <laughs> there. Force it open, you can choose one eye. Yeah, I'm just doing the one eye and I'm doing the uh Oh, like I can limit the range on it? Oh. So it doesn't affect the shutter eye. Oh, I don't- I- I- the shutter eye's fine. It's the other eye I'm- I'm annoyed that it's closing all the time when I'm definitely not closing my eye. <laughs> That's why I go to doctor, doctor, my eye can't open. Just force it open! Just open it! <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how the limit the range option works, but I'll figure it out at some point. For now, it's okay. I just lowered, I lowered the wide eye again. Because for some reason, I, I have no idea. For some reason, it just doesn't want to think that my eyes open all the time, so. We're messing around a little bit, I guess, until we figure this out. But anyway, sorry, working as an intern. I uh, accidentally might have sort of, uh, you, you know what, uh, Team 23 fucked up and they are not around anymore except for like one or two members, uh, definitely had nothing to do with me and nothing to do with a resupply, um, <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't worry about that, um, now, now I oversee Team 27. So if you're if you're hearing my voice, you're probably in Rig 27. Uh, they relocated me after the terrible accident at Team 23. Uh, they won't they won't legally let me talk about it. Um, but uh, it di it did involve an intern. Uh, I'm not gonna say which intern, and it did involve a resupply. Um, <laughs> But yeah, Team 23 is uh, kind of disbanded after that whole incident. <laughs> but yeah. Paid us kobolds to gold. Now they changed to cred chits. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's why I try to get some of the minerals and gold sent up to me before all the kobolds eat it. It, it does happen. Um... Like I'm, I'm trying to make us some, some money here, but y you can't do that when it gets eaten, you know. <laughs> as, as a uh, very productive god member of society, I wanna, I wanna make all the credits, you know. <laughs> what am I going in this ring? That's fair. That's fair. Listen, the morkites can be quite Yeah, you can eat the morkite. Uh, just, just bring up the the amount needed for the mission, and then eat, eat all the rest you want. That sounds like a good deal. And then I'll sell all the Morkite you brought up and I'll make sure you get whatever DRG promised you because you guys are all in a union and I can't do anything about that. <laughs> I heard gold is good for your heart. <laughs> Why don't you think the doors have deep pockets? Oh, I don't know. Why don't the doors have deep pockets? I can't watch Rack to be drinking the water. <laughs> if you saw that weird animation there. <laughs> that was funny. The cleaning sports. That's true. Cobalt cleaning spray did come in handy with all that, uh, with all the rock pox outbreaks. So, you know, we got to give them that. 
They deserve the crunchy shinies. Just don't eat silver. Amanda has a reference to them sneaking some. Ah, yep. We're sure management's not listening right now. Oh, uh, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> they could be listening. Hold on a second. Okay. Management is totally not listening right now. Totally not listening right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I was trying to do a little blinky thing under the goggle, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> but yes, welcome, welcome. We got a lot of things planned for today, too. Um, just before I continue on lore stuff, I want to get it out of my brain. Um, uh, we're going to be doing some Deep Rock, of course. Uh, we've got some Global Jeopardy planned. If you want to learn some interesting facts about the goblins and kobolds. Uh, and Deep Rock. Yeah, that's true. We could or we could do Jeopardy. Um, it almost might as well while we're in just chatting. Um, and uh, then we're gonna we're probably gonna go with Deep Rock till supper, and then uh, after some quick noms, we're gonna come back for a whole bunch of stuff. I have a, a bit of a surprise. I'm going to try some Majora's Mask randomizer with crowd control so you guys can all uh, just destroy me. <laughs> just completely bork me. And um, I wonder if it's just a little wonky in the calibration. And then we're going to do some Mario 64 with a, a bunch of people. Yeah, you heard me. Mario 64 with a bunch of people. We got a multiplayer Mario 64 going, and I'm super excited to try that out. I think it'll be a blast. Um, that sounds good. Awesome. And uh, then after that, uh, you know, it just kind of depends. Uh, I left the last bit open in case we really get into Mario 64 and want to keep want to keep wahooing, wahoo! Yeah, going out for the. Going after all the stars, because those are probably worth a pretty penny, and I, I like money. That whole that whole goblin trope is 100% legit. I, I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> That's a goal. Do the Mario. Take one step, and then again. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. <laughs> but, um, yes. That should be a blast. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Swinging your arms and then again. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen with the Majora's Mask. I, I tried to figure out balancing and stuff like that. So we'll see how that, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I have no idea what that's going to be like. No idea whatsoever. Probably chaos. Yeah, exactly. It should be fun. I'm, I'm excited because um, I don't know how much I've talked about it on stream, but Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite game series. And, um, I have played so much Zelda. Like, so much. <laughs> like, I think I've played every Zelda game to date. Uh, 100%ing all of them at least once. And, uh, specifically Majora's Mask. I've, uh, I've played it like the N64 Master Quest Edition. I've played like 39 times. <laughs> so... <laughs> Hey Virgil, how's it going? Crowd control being active means coins to mess with. So that's true. You get more coins for both, yeah. But Opti would have a long talk about that. There, he loves Majora's. Oh, Majora's Mask is a godsend. I uh, I love that game. Um, I was a little disappointed though. So the last time I've actually played Majora's Mask was on when it came out on 3DS, and I um, I was kind of disappointed. Like, it looked really cool, and it was handheld, so, you know, I still played it. But they dumbed it down so much that it felt like I was playing, like, ultra easy mode. <laughs> it's like, if you played the Majora's Mask on 3DS, it's still a really fun game, and you'll still get the gist of Majora's Mask. But it's not anywhere near Majora's Mask's, like, original difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I feel like it's going to be a nightmare. Just because, like, with crowd control, there was stuff in there, like, where you guys can change the time limits and you can, like, drop the moon on me. Like, it's going to be... It's going to be insane. I, I don't know how I'm going to live with that. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like my time playing Majora's Mask is going to be a slight detriment because I've never done a randomizer. So, like, I kind of know where stuff is supposed to be and it's not going to be there. <laughs> so that should be fun. Um, but yeah, if there's a bunch of people here already, we can take a look at Go Ball Jeopardy. That's not a bad idea. But, um, oh, I guess I should to finish talking about lore stuff though. Uh, so I'm, I'm managing Team 27 and they go down to Hoxis and they start finding these weird meteorites. Um, this meteorite that's just kind of it's been kind of orbiting Hoxis and dropping a bunch of comets to the surface uh almost on purpose r&d department's been kind of um yeah it's oh no um no oh, <laughs> thank you for subscribing there are no more <laughs> thank you for subscribing oh my gosh i saw a couple subscriptions actually lego gonk droid as well thank you for subscribing um, the comet that's dropping the rock box plague, it's actually, um, it's like actively doing it. It's, it's like the rock box has, uh, got a, got a mind to actually send stuff to the planet. Um, and this, this is tweak, tweak lore, by the way, but this is actually in the, the back of like the deep rock galactic files, like when I've been modding. So, you know, I, I think there actually is a sentience with those rock box. So the guys in R and D talking about, uh, how the rock pox plague seems to be actively evolving and trying to deal with us cleaning it off the surface um it's even infecting more bugs and trying to drive them around like meat puppets it's very very disturbing stuff <laughs> but um minor spoiling for season three yes you'll, you'll it's minor spoilers for season three of deep rock i suppose um I feel like season three has been out for quite a while at this point though. So it's a, it's, it should be okay. I think it <laughs> should be okay. Um, but it's, it's more like you wouldn't even know the lore stuff unless you go into the, the, like the data files and, uh, and read all that stuff too. But now the tweak specific lore about this is when rock pox broke out on the space rig. <laughs> Because those dwarves are like shoving those containers around. I, you know, I keep blaming the dwarves, but like it could have been one of the kobold teams too. I don't know. Someone shoved over a container on Space Rig 27. And uh, yeah, Rockpox got loose. Uh, I got a slight infection. By slight, I mean I was hospitalized in the med bay for like a couple weeks. <laughs> and they had to take my arm and replace my eye. But you know, just a slight infection. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the kobolds, we sure it wasn't a goblin. Uh, surprisingly, goblins don't. I, I haven't seen too many goblins work on the um in the mines on Hoxis. Actually, there's been a couple working in like accounting and stuff. And honestly, being a goblin myself, I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't. Tr I don't trust a goblin with my accounting. If you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah. Uh. I work as an intern. Sometimes I go down to the surface with you guys, but I don't know too many. Uh, I don't know too many goblins that actually are working in teams. And I, I also feel like it couldn't have been. It could have been. Couldn't have been the Eldritch like ghost. You know, like that just seems silly. <laughs> we we have some weird members on staff apparently. <laughs> but um, yes. The Choo Choo Charles is watching. No. <laughs> the Choo Choo Charles is terrifying. <laughs> uh, that game actually spooked me a little bit. It shouldn't have, but it spooked me a little bit. <laughs> Stunk like bleach for a week. That's true. We just spray everybody. The The reward I give anyone for a successful Rockbox mission is a spray down in the, uh, in the showers. <laughs> and lots of alcohol to kill whatever's left. <laughs> Although I think the alcohol is supposed to be medicinal and I think the dwarves keep drinking it all. So, you know, <laughs> I can't, I can't help that, but you know, we, we try our best here at DRG. 
<laughs> not all washcloth. Ooh, yeah, that could be a that could be a problem. There's a lot of wet dwarf <laughs> and a lot of wet cobalt <laughs> if you look like a washcloth. <laughs> but um, yes. Uh, so then I was in the med bay for a while. Uh, I had a rockbox infection. It was bad. Uh, I'm glad they put me in a crowd too because I I would not want anything to be dealing with that. It was it was painful. Just imagine like flu and vertigo and like I don't know ringworms and stuff all at the same time. It was bad. <laughs> Can feel the pain off some iron golems. That's true. Power washers are very dangerous. But um, they they cleared me out. Uh, they had to remove some parts, but I'm I'm all better. Uh, I do, I do have some weird ads that pop up on my eyeball every so often. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I think I think the kobolds are trying to advertise more cleaning products. Uh, I'm probably just intercepting their ad signals. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> wait, Tally is part of my lore. No, I I think I think GL gamers talking about them looking like a washcloth. <laughs> oh, relation <laughs> to Tally. <laughs> Fine, that'd be nice. But um, but yes, uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I uh, I I swear I have no residual effects of rock pox. But they are monitoring me just in case, um, which is fine. The Goblin Mining Guild is a little pissed. Uh, you know, the intern they sent over to Deep Rock Galactic got like a life-threatening injury while working for them. Uh, and of course, goblins being cheap, like we are, uh, they're trying to sue DRG for a lot of money. So instead, DRG gave me full free Medicare, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And they fixed me up, and they're like, "And now, now, let's keep this partnership going. We don't need to. We don't need to do another database of grudges." And I think the goblins are also like, you know, we we don't really want to be on the database of grudges. Dwarves hold those grudges forever. Like, if you're in the database of grudges, you are not ever getting out of the database of grudges. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a it's a place you never want to be. Um. A tenuous truth. Yeah, basically. The the compensation has been some basically some reparations and they fixed me up and I'm still allowed to to work here. So that's the that's the current deal. As long as I'm still in good health and working here, they've kinda kept kept the truce going with Golem Mine Guild. Plus, Golem Mine Guild builds a lot of the explosives and uh and fancy weaponry uh that DRG likes to make use of. Uh, their R&D department obviously ma meshes it up because goblin tech is nowhere near as functional as <laughs> as these guns. But, um, you know, they get a lot of the ideas and uh, explosive parts from us. <laughs> the drill is on my team. Thank you for that. Vibe. Oh, no problem. <laughs> they love their explosions. Yes. Yes, for sure. Everyone, who, who doesn't like a good explosion once in a while? And if you don't have enough for explosions, you, like, you know, throw one of them ripper saws or those drones that just face shred everything. That's also a good, <laughs> that's also a good time. Not, not sure I, uh, how I feel about the taser boomerang though. That seems like the least lethal grenade option I've seen. <laughs> uh, well, our version fired a laser out of the chunk. But it wasn't focused. <laughs> it just kind of... Uh, have you ever seen like a laser pointer go through a kaleidoscope? Uh, and then promptly explode after? That that was our version. <laughs> it was... Uh, it was super effective. Um, but uh, also not very safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AOE shotgun with the laser. <laughs> Effective once. Yep. That's why I have so much in common when I uh, play those games of uh, of Warhammer and then I get to play Skaven because like I love how half their guns explode. <laughs> you never know if you're going to have a Gatling gun or a bomb. <laughs> and I love it. Um. <laughs> oh, so good. 
but that's where most of our stuff comes or most of our designs are they they usually are like let's let's take this idea stick it together and uh we'll test it live in the field <laughs> the dwarves on the other hand are like oh we need research and development and we need to make sure this is safe for our dwarven teams you know all the all the business and the hisness but um yeah <laughs> Let me see if I have the Gobol Jeopardy here, and we can take a peek at it. Doop a doop do. Cause I turned it into a. Uh, I didn't want to do it all like online and stuff, so I saw if I could turn it into a. A pedar part pedi pedi f. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> I just use fairies to test out. That's that's a good point. Uh, right. So I did doop a doop do. Right. Okay. So how how this is gonna work? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play it very free form. So uh, anyone that's hopping on, uh, feel free to, you know, just spam your answers in the chat. And we'll see if people, if anyone gets them right, because this is more about like a, a lore dump and some cool little tidbits on goblins and kobolds that you guys might be interested in. <laughs> oh, uh, not in goblin culture. I wouldn't test something on myself. <laughs> that seems like a one way ticket to, uh, on a, on a life, on a life, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just, that seems like a ban. I just respawn. Oh, that seems very handy. Could, would you like to apply for the goblin weapon testing initiative? <laughs> what are? That's what the gnomes are for. Oh man, the gnomes are on like the the shit list of so many companies right now. <laughs> I apologize if you're a gnome. I technically don't have anything. I I was friends with a gnome for quite a while, um, but they they did betray Deep Rock Galactic. And the Cobalt Cleaning Services, and Goblin Mining Guild. Uh, they they don't have a good rep right now. <laughs> they would pay me more. It still hurts. <laughs> Not all gnomes are traitors. Just a lot of them. Yeah, exactly. There's there's a majority of uh, gnome problem right now. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I want Jeopardy to just be kind of a fun thing. I, it, it has all the, like, you know, money points and all that kind of stuff. But I'm like, I, I just want it to be more of a fun little quiz game that we can kind of all do together. And uh, I'll let you guys kind of pick the the category, uh, how difficult the question you want to be, which is obviously the money value. And uh, we'll see how many chat can get right. <laughs> 